Well, we do know that law enforcement sources are telling ABC News that at least 16 people are dead and dozens more are injured. This all started around 8 o'clock tonight, and at this hour, police still have not found that shooter, and the entire city of Lewiston is on lockdown. The Andrew Scoggin Sheriff's Office releasing these photos of a man with a high-powered rifle entering a bowling alley. Lewiston police releasing even more haunting images and also a picture of a white hatchback believed to be the shooters. Police believe that there are at least two shooting locations. The first at a bowling alley, spare time recreation, now called just in time recreation. The second at a bar and police are investigating a third location, a Walmart distribution center where we believe no shots were fired. Hospitals right now, they are bracing as victims pour in. Central Maine Medical Center says it is reacting to a mass casualty, mass shooter event at this time. There are no specifics to share on the number of casualties, and Central Maine Healthcare is coordinating with area hospitals to take in patients. Listen to one woman describe seeing victims coming to the hospital. There was a girl down there with five people, all got shot up, and they're like frantic. And they brought in somebody in a vehicle that was shot right from the pickup. Families now rushing to those hospitals waiting for word. Lewiston Public Schools sending alert to go on lockdown, a shelter in place order that's been issued for the entire city. Businesses has also, has also been asked to close and New Hampshire police, they are setting up roadblocks to prevent this shooter from getting very far. Again, this is the early reports. At least 16 people are dead, dozens more injured. The entire city of Lewiston, Maine remains on lockdown as they search for and try to identify this shooter.